So I'm making this video. In case I don't survive, there's a record. But it's 24th of July. Went on a hike with my family. Don't know what happened, lost signal. They're gone. And I'm left here all by myself. And there's still snow. So that's fun, but from what I can tell, I'm almost at the lake that I'm headed to. So hopefully I make it and don't die on you guys. So I don't think the end of this hike is happening today because I'm exhausted. <clears throat> yeah. And it's been about an hour and a half since I've heard anything from like my, my mom and my sister or anything. So I'm pretty sure they've already turned around and are probably are waiting at the car for me. And well, I mean, it is like super beautiful here. So if you ever have a chance to come to Utah, I would suggest it and go on some hikes, see the mountains. They're really beautiful. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and uh, show you. So actually, we'll just do that. So yeah, so that's kind of the view that I have right now. Um, and just to give you a hint of kind of like how far I've hiked, I s it says that it's only four miles to this lake, but I swear I've gone farther than four miles. But the road, you can't even see it, but at the bottom of this mountain, range hey guys welcome to the vlog um, so today what's in store is a back day workout and I think I'm gonna talk a little bit about supplements and give a little bit of information about that and I think I'm gonna actually split those into a couple different videos so in this one we're gonna focus on creatine and you know what's why it's beneficial why there might be some side effects what causes those side effects stuff like that um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy this. Okay guys, so I'm once again at Walmart getting stuff that I need and also helping my mom out and grabbing her something. But the worst thing that can happen to you when you walk into a store is to walk in and smell that somebody has just thrown up. It doesn't really make you want to buy food. What is up guys? Hey, so this is going to be the um, supplement part of this vlog. Um, so the supplement that I'm doing today is creatine. Um, and I'm going to be talking about creatine. This, this right here is creatine that I actually got from Walmart. Um, so, so first of all, with the, there's a bunch of types of creatine out there. Um, people will try and charge you more and say like, oh, this is better, this is more absorbed. The truth is, is that all you really need is creatine monohydrate. Um, it is easily absorbed. It's easily utilized by your body. Anything else uh, is just kind of crap that they're feeding you to try and charge you more money for creatine. All you need is the basic stuff. Um, it's a really simple supplement. It's not hard to screw up. Um, so when it comes to taking creatine, um, for me personally, I take 10 grams a day, which is two servings. Um, and I take it uh, intra-workout and post-workout. Um, it doesn't really matter when you take creatine, it just matters that you take it at a certain point in the day. Sorry about that break, uh, somebody was talking in the background, um, so I was just letting them know that I was recording. So, uh, creatine, you know, it's important, take it every day. Um, I personally take 10 grams a day. Um, timing really doesn't matter too much, just as long as you're getting it in every day and replenishing what you've probably work use in your workout um, so the benefits of creatine is um, so when taking creatine uh, a common thing that people say is that you have to like load creatine or take like that first week or first two weeks you have to be taking like a crap ton every single day 
in order to get the benefits and like super saturate your cell with it. Um, that's, that's not really true guys. You just need to start taking it consistently. Um, five, 10 grams a day, depending on who you are. Um, and what your body weight is and body type and everything. Um, so, uh, the benefits of creatine, why you would want creatine. So, uh, a lot of times people literally say, you know, benefits of creatine is it will make you stronger and you'll be able to, you know, increase your one rep max or you'll be able to, um, push a little bit harder in the gym. Um, and it'll also help increase muscle size. Um, all those are true. I kind of want to explain how that is true. Um, so I have a pen and notebook here. Um, so the first thing to understand is, is a little bit of kind of like cellular physiology. So the way that our cell utilizes energy is it uses this uh, molecule called ATP. So ATP, uh, adenosine triphosphate, it's a molecule that has three phosphate branches kind of connected to it. And these are high energy bonds. So the way that your body utilizes this is it breaks one of these ATP into ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate, and a phosphate ion. Um, and when it breaks this, energy comes out. And that's where we kind of get the energy to move, to push. And like right now, I'm using ATP to move my arms and be all wacky right now. Um, so what creatine does is creatine comes in and it is able to, uh, so creatine, it is able to come in here and donate a phosphate to that ADP that just lost a phosphate so that you have ATP again, which you can then utilize for energy again. Um, so that's, that's why you're able to one be stronger is that you just have a little bit more energy or a little bit of those stores before you uh, knock it. So, so before you enter into a uh, anaerobic, sorry, aerobic uh, metabolism uh, or before you start using oxygen, your body will use the phosphates, will use the ATP that you have stored inside your cell already to get that going, then it will start using stored energy as, as in like stored glucose uh, in your inside of your cell. Um, and then at that point, uh, once you've used those, that energy and all you've got is the ADP left and there's no like phosphates or anything, it'll start pulling in and using oxygen to create energy. So using creatine, it's able to donate phosphate to ADP so that you get ATP again and you're able to utilize energy a little bit longer before you have to switch over and start using the oxygen and the uh, citric acid cycle to get that energy that you need in order to continue to work out. People saying, and, and it actually, so this side effect goes hand in hand with the, you know, it helps you to build muscle. Um, water retention. I've heard a lot of people say that they don't want to take creatine or they don't want something with creatine in it because of water retention. Oh, I'm going to get watery and all that stuff. And like the whole point of creatine is that you're the, the whole muscle building property of it is that it, you want to retain that water. You, but okay. So what happens is, uh, um, inside your body, um, you've got your bloodstream here. So you got, you know, blood cells and everything. And then you, got your cell here with its nucleus. So so we're just gonna say that this is a muscle cell. It's not shaped like a muscle cell, I know. Bad artist, I'm just kind of drawing this on the fly. So say this is a muscle cell and you've got blood cells and you got creatine. So what happens is, is once creatine starts to build up in the bloodstream, um, it has a low concentration inside the cell. So what happens is your body wants to be in, in homeostasis or have an even, um, hydrostatic kind of uh, balance, osmotic pressure um, inside your body. So, so basically it wants uh, the concentration in your bloodstream to be the same as concentration in your cell. So what's going to happen is, is you're going to build up creatine inside the muscle cell um, to be used as energy. And when that happens, you're going to end up with a bit of a, a osmotic kind of difference in the hydrostatic kind of fluid balance inside your body. So what happens is that not only 
does creatine go into your cell, but in order to even out the osmotic pressure between your blood and your uh, cell, it's going to pull water. H2O. Well, it's upside down because that's the way I'm looking at it. But it's going to pull water into your muscle cell, filling up your muscle cell, making your muscle cell bigger. Ipso facto, you just gained some more muscle mass. Um, so, with that, <laughs> you are going to retain water. And, and a lot of times people are like, oh, but my skin gets watery and like I, I retain water and like my veins go away or whatever. And the reason that this would happen is that as water leaves the bloodstream, your blood volume, so blood volume, blood volume is going to go down. And when that happens, your body starts to freak out and go like, oh, hey, blood volume is going down. Um, we're going to have, you know, we're going to have to pump the heart harder. Our blood pressure is going down, you know, pump the heart harder. And when you lose water out of your bloodstream and it goes into the cell, you get thirsty. So then you start drinking water. And, and oftentimes, we'll overcompensate with water. So my theory is, I don't know necessarily if this is 100% scientific fact, but this is what I believe is that once that water goes into your muscle cell with the creatine and your blood volume gets lower and your blood pressure dips, your body says, hey, we need to bring up the blood volume. Let's drink some more water. And often throughout the day, we will overcompensate and we'll drink more water than we're used to or that we really um, need or that's pulled into the muscle cell. So we're drinking more than usual and more than um, really what we need and what's utilized. So we end up with extra water, extra H2O inside of our body that our body doesn't quite know how to compensate and handle yet. So the first place that it kind of like lets it spill out, it spills out into the intracellular fluid and it, and it looks like you're holding on to water. So that that's my theory and that's what makes sense to me from uh, my human physiology class that I took this last semester is that if you notice water gain um, that's not only in the muscle but you also can see it in like your skin or your stomach or, you, or something like that is it's probably just because you've overcompensated because you've become thirsty by using creatine and you've drank a little bit more water. If you just hold steady and keep drinking the same amount of water, just measure it out, you know, a gallon, gallon and a half a day, um, and just are steady with that, your body will auto-regulate, get used to the amount of water that you're drinking, you'll pee out what you don't need, and you'll lose whatever water weight you think you're holding on to. Um, you just got to give your body some time to readjust to what's going on. So guys, I hope that that was a little bit informative and you understand a little bit better about creatine and how it's beneficial. Um, side note, side effects, there's, there was a lot of studies a while ago and I remember when I first started using creatine, my mom freaked, freaked out because the first time I had it, I was uh, with my dad in California and we were working out at the 24 hour fitness out there and I took uh, some creatine while I was there for like three or four days, came home talked to my mom about it and like yeah we went to the gym and I tried the supplement and like oh it's creatine and she like freaked out and was like oh no you're gonna destroy your liver or your kidneys ah you're gonna die um no that's that's not how creatine works um what you don't utilize you'll just flush out of your body um you don't have to worry about um it trashing your liver it's not really a drug it's it's actually we actually make creatine and we eat creatine so we get creatine naturally from eating meats and our body uh, like can actually, I think it produces, I think it produces creatine. I don't, don't quote me on that, but I definitely know that we do get it from meat. Um, not in this high amount of quality, quantity. Um, but really there's nothing to really fear from creatine. It's not gonna trash your body. It's not gonna kill you or kill your gains. The only thing that you sh may notice is the, is the water weight, um, which is, is kind of the purpose of it. Um, so for me personally, I use this Walmart uh, creatine. I get it at Walmart. It's the Six Star brand. Um, it's from the muscles of mus maker. It's from the makers of Muscle Tech, if I can say that right. Um, I've been using this uh, about a year. Um, haven't really noticed any negative side effects at all. Um, 
never really know this waterway. I mean, I use it pretty much up until my last show, and I'm going to use it up until this next upcoming show. So I've never noticed any bad side effects from it. What I have noticed is that my one rep maxes have gone up since I've started using it over the past year. Um, and I'm able to push a little bit harder in the gym than I was before. I feel a little bit more energized when I'm in the gym. Um, really, I think there's nothing to fear from using creatine, and I would recommend using creatine. Um, if you don't trust this brand, um, there are other brands out there. Um, but however, I would recommend if you're just kind of starting out and want to try it, just get some creatine monohydrate um, from Six Star, put it in your protein shake or put it in with your BCAAs. It's non-flavored and I, I personally really like it and enjoy using it. Um, and I will use it in the foreseeable future and as long as I, <laughs> geez, probably for the rest of my life actually, because um, I don't plan on stopping being fit or stopping going to the gym. Uh, so that's kind of my review guys, thank you so much. Um, after this, there should be the workout and a little bit of vlog of the rest of the day. Um, thank you so much for your time. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, put them below. I'll be happy to answer them as best as I, best I can. And if you want some articles or anything about uh, the use of uh, creatine, I will be I'll gladly look those up for you and help you to become a little bit more informed on it. Um, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Hey guys, just made it to my softball game, made it to the field. Um, probably make a little video walking up there. I don't know if I'm going to record during the game just because I want to be, you know, focused on the game, be a good teammate. Um, yeah, so video coming up of me walking over to the field and of the field, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. guys how's it going uh you know okay so recap um played the game we lost got spanked um it happens you know week to week it, it just depends on the week whether we play really well or not uh we're just gonna come back next week and play a little bit better um but right now i'm headed to actually go meet somebody to go grab something that i need for my competition um i know it's still a while out but it's better to be prepared um 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 yeah but i think i'm actually going to just end the video now but please uh like comment share and subscribe this video um anything you do would be a big help um thank you so much for tuning in guys see you in the next one